as a believer, as Christians, there are maybe two opposite spectrums that some uh, can easily fall on. There's the group of people that said, you should be a Christian. Don't be afraid. Just believe in God. You should not be afraid. Or maybe you're not a strong enough believer if you have fear. Or you are not trusting on God's word if you have fear. And on the other end, there are those who are completely out of their mind, even going to the place where they're saying, I don't know what's going on, thinking it's the end of the world, going as far as blaming God for the virus. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sony, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, we we'll focus on two things. We talk about faith, we talk about entrepreneurship. My desire is to help individuals such as yourself to be more motivated, to discover your purpose, for you to understand that you are God's very best. If it's your first time, please consider subscribing. In the midst of all the noise that is going on, I wanted to take some time to maybe just talk to you for a second regarding the crisis that's going around with the coronavirus all over the world. I think if you're watching this, you're probably stuck home or you might be in some form of lockdown, confinement, something that is going on worldwide. This is one of the first cases where we see a global scale. I've never seen something quite like this. I'm 27 years old and seeing the scope of what everything is going around the world. I mean, this is one of the first time I see really a global pandemic. Worldwide fear. I don't want to be another voice among the noise that is going on that is going to bring another reason for you to think about um, the danger of the coronavirus, the danger of the, the things that is going around you. I don't want to be another voice that's just going to be bringing more noise to a already crazy world. I mean, you can just turn on the news and you'll see that for yourself. But what I do want to talk to you today as a believer in this channel, I decided intentionally to focus on two things which I thought were somewhat strengths of mine. I decided to talk about faith and I decided to talk about entrepreneurship. I think in this time and in light of all that is going around the world, I think we need to talk a little bit more on faith. As a believer, as Christians, there are maybe two opposite spectrums that some uh, can easily fall on. There's the group of people that said, you should be a Christian. Don't be afraid. Just believe in God. You should not be afraid. Or maybe you're not a strong enough believer if you have fear or you are not trusting on God's word if you have fear. And on the other end, there are those who are completely out of their mind, even going to the place where they're saying, I don't know what's going on, thinking it's the end of the world, going as far as blaming God for the virus. I want us to maybe take some time and reflect a little bit on a couple principles. And I want to take one of the scripture, a scripture verse, to be able to use that as a, a platform for the next maybe two, three minutes to give you an encouraging word. We see that the Lord puts a lot of emphasis on us not falling into fear, not falling victim of what our surrounding or the situation or sometimes even our thoughts can put us captive, which is often fear. I think the fact that the Lord asks us to not be fearful is because you knew that fear may come. Fear will grip us. Uh, the Lord even said it clearly, said, in this world, you will have tribulations. In other words, in 2020 translation, all that means is in this world, bad things will happen. Things are going to go wrong. You might have pandemics like are going on right now. From the promises of God to some of the prophecies that were given, we see that these are part of the end time. But one of the things that I want to be an encouragement to you, for you to remember that as a believer, the Lord encourages us to fear not. It does not mean that you're less of a Christian because you might have fear. It just means that He wants you to not dwell on that, to put your faith on His Word. Because the scripture says, faith comes by hearing, hearing the Word of God. So it's important for us to be able to Keep our faith on what God says, thus taking away the fear that what our surrounding, what our world, what science, what our health may say. In that, I'm also thinking of maybe some of you guys 
who've been affected. Some people, some of you guys that might be watching this, you know someone who's being touched or you yourself might be sick. You might be watching this in a hospital bed. I hope that this message may be an encouragement to you for you to know as well that fear not is not just for those who haven't cut the virus yet or those who are seeing it coming towards them. Even those who've already been uh, affected by this, I want you to know that the Lord also says fear not because he's the same guy that says, I am the Lord God that heals you. I am the Lord God that provides healing, that even in the face of death, the Lord God can transform. Even when science says, well, because of your, pre, uh, uh, your preconditions and some of the things that you had, well, you're more, you can go from a, a, a normal to a critical stage and death is coming soon. I want to let you know that Lord God, the Jesus that we serve, he's a healer and he can heal you where you are. And I proclaim that healing over your life. I proclaim that restoration of your life, that total recovery, not only for you, for those around you, for your family members, your friends, anyone that might be connected to you. So we see that fear can grip us because of what's around us. But keeping our faith on what God said helps us overcome that fear. As we read in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, verse 23. For those of you guys who are believers, you might have heard this story before. But I thought it was quite fitting to talk about the story in these particular times. It says, Jesus got into a boat and his followers went with him. A great storm arose on the lake so that the wave covered the boat, but Jesus was asleep. Other version says that he was sleeping a deep, profound sleep. We can assume it probably was a pretty um, peaceful sleep for him because if there's a storm going around around you, and you're in a boat, and yet you have the ability to sleep, probably was sleeping well. <laughs> but what is interesting, as we continue to read verse 25, his followers went to him, woke him up saying, Lord, save us, we will drown. Jesus replied to, him, to them by saying, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? When I read, first read that verse, I was like, it was kind of harsh to say that. Obviously, the danger is obvious. There's a storm. This can take him out. This can, can tip over and it can die. But Jesus still wanted them to know that in the midst of fear, you should trust in God's promises. And in this particular, in, in this particular case, Jesus himself was with him. The one who created the storms and the waters and the skies and the wind was not going to be drowned by the very things he created. He says, Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and the waves, and it was completely calm. So Jesus, after telling them, why don't you have faith? He didn't leave him today. And he said, why don't you have faith? Let me sleep. You know, come on, you messed up my sleep. I was having a nice <laughs> dream. Actually, to the contrary, what Jesus ended up doing is he actually got up and took care of whatever the storm or whatever the difficulty they were facing. In that particular regard, I want you to be encouraged as well for you to know that in the midst of all that is going on, it seems like things are not really changing. Things are getting worse. I want you to know that Jesus is willing to take care of that. Even though some of you guys may feel like this is a lesson, this is a, a moment of difficulty, I'll admit that for me, there was a lot that I was, I've been learning during these past few couple of days. Uh, when I hear of you know, kids being out of schools, people dying, people losing their jobs, the economic crash, even believers and people in other parts of the world that don't even have access to medical help. It breaks my heart and sometimes I wonder why, what is going on. But even in the midst of that lesson, I still hold on to the faith that the Lord would take care of the storm. In the same way he did for the disciple, he didn't let them and say, well, here are the two, three points you need to do and talk to the wind. When sometimes storms come and overwhelm us, that storms are might be stronger than us, storms that may go beyond our, our belief, our understanding, something like Corona, that even scientists don't know what to do. Uh, these people who went to school for this are faced with something that is completely different. In that particular case, the Lord still takes care of our storm. So my trust is in Him. In things that overwhelm you, that go beyond you. Maybe you've lost loved ones and you've cried and, and you don't understand why your pain is so deep. In the midst of that, I want you to continue to have faith in God. He's going to take care of that storm.
Don't worry so much about what is the lesson I'm going to learn or sometimes the diakon may not be as, as we thought it would be. But even in the midst of that, I want you to still trust him. So in this story, Jesus comes, quiets the storm, and the story goes on that the disciples were completely amazed that he did so. They were like, who is this man that even the waters and the sea obeys him? Who is this man that even viruses and uh, can respond to the voice of the maker, the creator of everything. I wish I had the right words to tell you. I wish there were moments where I could be able to say, it's gonna be okay just because, right? I wish I could just snap my finger and the coronavirus would stop spreading and those who are in critical care would magically be healed and it would stop. I wish that was the case, but I do not have that power, but I know who does. The Lord Jesus does, that whatever this sickness, this virus, whatever is going on, the Lord is gonna bring healing. And I pray that the healing that he's going to bring is not going to be just something that cures you or gives you a vaccine against coronavirus, but also would transform your heart for you to have a faith that is greater, a faith that is much stronger, a faith that is more relying on him. I hope this is an encouraging word. If it is, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Watch some of the other videos on this YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe as well. Also, share it with someone else. It could be an encouragement for them. During these times, I think more than anything, we need to hear many more encouraging words in the midst of all the chaos and negative news and the fear that is out there. I hope this was a message of hope. Remember, you are God very best. He loves you. I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you were really blessed by it. Make sure you click the subscribe button below and also the notification bell so you get notified on any upcoming videos. If you want more videos, click the videos on the side and also the give not button if you want to support what we do. I hope to see you next time. Take care.